So here's the thing. I guess there was this thing that I didn't really pick up on until, I guess, today or yesterday. And the whole thing with the man or a bear thing, the hypothetical question, I don't know what that is, but I guess this is it right over here. It says, uh, this comes from USA Today. It says, man or bear, hypothetical question sparks conversation about women's safety. Whoever picks a bear is a fucking moron. Uh, they, they are absolutely retarded, especially like, oh my God. It's like, woman explain why they would feel safer encountering a bear in the forest than a man they didn't know. The hypothetical has sparked a broader discussion about why women fear men. Because feminists ruin everything. That's why. There's no other freaking... There's no other freaking uh, answer to it. The first way feminism is like, oh, we want to be able to vote. Second way feminism is like, oh, we want to be tr uh, created equal. And, you know, do whatever, yada, yada. Third way feminist is, hey... Um, we don't, uh, we don't need men and we can do our own stuff, you know, like, um, uh, you know, treat us equally, yada, yada, yada. And fourth way feminism is men are stupid and they should be eradicated from the face of the earth. That's basically fourth way feminism. Now, what third and fourth way feminism did was basically tell women that you, men will ruin your lives. Right. And the thing is that there was, there was a, um, what's it called again? A uh, Family Guy skit where it's like, oh, one in four men will like rape you in college. And then he's like, the, the girl in her class is like, <gasps> and then she looks to the guy, he's like, I won't rape you. And he looks, she looks at the other guy, he's like, I might, right? So it's like, yeah, it's, it's a joke and everything. But the thing is that a lot of these feminism, these feminazis that I call them, a lot of them had uh, basically sucked each other's um, assholes for one, uh, you know, and smelling each other's farts for so long that they begin to believe the lie. All right. So there's a video over here. So let's see what, what it says. Uh, so it looks like a video right over here on TikTok. It looks like. If you had to leave your future daughter in the woods, in the forest, with a man or a bear, which would you choose? Okay. Well, here's the thing, chat. If he chose a bear, the bear would kill you immediately. Especially if you're talking if you're talking about brown bear, black bear, maybe, uh, but a grizzly bear. Oh, uh, I think it will it, 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 you're done. Right? People I'm pre I'm pretty sure these girls are like, oh, they're not saying that. They're talking about the the you know the, the cup, the baby cup. Oh yeah, you know, I would I would do if I see the cup, I would go over there and grab it. And then it's like, oh my god, you're so cute. And then I will raise it like my own kid. It's because you know, uh what's that called again? Uh you know, uh you know, I'm 40 year old, I can't have baby anymore. Yeah, um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's awful. It's awful, man. Like these bears would destroy you. Yeah, remember Revenant and Leonardo? Yeah, true, man. True. See, the bear that they're thinking of is the bear that you have sex with in Baldur's Gate Three. You look. Oh, I can have bear sex. Bear sex. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Bear sex. Oh my god, these women are out of control. What well, the bear would eat her? Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. What a man what would a man do to her? Holy shit, man. Holy shit. That that girl probably like had some like trauma issues, daddy issues. She probably was like sexually molested by her own father or something like that. Right? And then and then her father was like, oh, why, why did I do that? So it's like, I'm going out for some milk. Never came back. That, that's why she has daddy issues. And that's why she hates all men. So stupid. Do I have to, do I get to pick the man? No, it's just this random man. Yeah, I'd rather the bear eater. Yep, there it is. So here's the thing. Here, here, thing. here, 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 the thing. All right. If the girl is that stupid that they would choose a bear over a random man, 
she deserves to herself to be removed from the gene pool. It's that simple. If she chooses, if any girl actually says, I would rather choose the bear. Right? I would rather choose the bear. Right? Then, yeah, yeah. Name her, yeah, name the bear Darwin. Yeah, the Darwin award goes to, yeah, remove yourself from the gene pool and just get, just get him out. Survival of the fittest. And obviously, you're not smart to be fit. And, uh, yeah. So what happens is that, here, here, here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's say if you're like, if you're on the side of, I would rather encounter a bear than a man is because you're afraid of being raped, right? That, that's basically the question, right? Because you're afraid of getting raped and stuff like that in, in, in the forest. So let's say worst case scenario, you encounter a man rather than a bear in a forest. And then that man sexually assaults you and potentially worse, even rapes you. A lot of these girls who are so scared Hey, man, I'm just going to go kill this baby anyways, right? You have to live. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to live through, you know, trauma for the rest of your life by being raped and stuff like that, right? And then you have to live through the trauma about, you know, like getting getting an abortion or whatever. But the, hey, a lot of these crazy women who are leftists, they love getting abortions. That's their contraception, right? What What is plan B? What is that? Plan B, plan, you know, I'm Asian, all about plan A. Plan B is for losers. Plan A is the best one. That's what my dad said. You know, plan A plus, right? right? It's like, oh, condom, what's that? Oh, I don't like that. Feel weird. Don't feel good. Oh, you see the whip for my pressure? No way, man. Those extra ring around the condom, stupid idea. Whoever invented it should be destroyed. Oh, what's that? Oh, Oh, get the, you know, uh, with the, it's a, it's a, you know, the, the freaking thing and then you pull out? No, but I want to feel the gushing inside my vagina because, you know, the gushing of the water, it feel like you pee your pants, but actually you feel like the water explode inside of you. So, you know, that's why we use the, you know, the abortion for the, you know, contraception because we're stupid. We stupid motherfucker, and then uh, you know we use that for uh, you know contraception because you know that's as easy. It's easy, no problem. You can get condoms at Planned Parenthood for free. You can you can get diaphragms for free. Condoms aren't that expensive; they're like five to ten bucks, depending on which one you get. If you get the icy hot one, that's probably more expensive, right? Because it has the extra like lube in there to make to, to make it cold or hot or whatever. But the thing is that at least you're still alive. You're still alive after that, right? You're still alive. Versus a bear, it's over. It's a one and done, right? You're basically it's like if you see a bear, just like just it's just 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 freaking just just jump, just just get out of the way, all right? But man. Man, it's like so, so this is this is this is dumb. A woman's it safety. It was a woman or a bear. No. <laughs> Gardening is a lot more than just Gardening is for women only. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Okay, now here's the thing. Here's the thing. So I saw this. Right? The reason why I wanted to see what that was because I saw this online and it says if you run into her in the forest, I pity the man and the bear. All right. I've seen this video before. She's pretty cute. All right. Let's watch it again for the for, for, share again for the classroom. Cool. Okay. All right. So what do I think about this? Uh, what's her name? I don't know her name. Uh, but she does not look that tall and she does not look that heavy. So I give it to, I give her, maybe she's about 5'2". 5'2", 100, 105, 110 pounds. Maybe. Right. And that staff isn't a full bow staff. That thing is hollow in the middle. Now, with that said, with that said, um, if she runs into a bear in the forest, she's done. It doesn't matter. The bear will outrun you. The bear will just freaking slash you and it's over, right? 
Now, here's the thing. If you run into both the man and the bear, do you know what the man would do? In, in, in most cases, this is what man would do. I will draw the bear away and go get the hell out of here. I will draw the bear away. I will distract the bear. You run for your life. Chat, am I wrong? Am, 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 am I a fucking misogynist, bigoted, like, man, man sucker? Right? Like, I, I feel like most men, they want to be a hero. They want, they want to save people. Most of the, I'm talking about most basic regular men, right? I'm not talking about like freaking like, um, like freaking, uh, you know, girly men or, you know, femme, femme boys. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about like regular, your generic men, right? And if you have a guy that's in the forest or in the woods hiking by himself, most of the time they are armed, all right? They'll even have some kind of like a uh, hatchet, uh, maybe even a gun, right? So let's say if I... She meets, she bumps into me and the, and a bear in the forest, right? There's a crossroads and then there's a bear there. I see her and then I'm like, oh shit. And the thing is that most of the time, if I'm going to go in the forest, I'll probably be armed with like a, like some kind of like bear mace or some shit like that. Right. Depending on where you live. I would be like, get the hell out of here. I'll distract. I'll, I'll go ahead and distract the bear. I'll drag the bear. I grab the bear's attention because I want her to survive. Right. That's how I would do it. That's how most guys would do it. Oh, man. So, uh, let's see. Furthermore, okay, her name is Reina Va Valen Valendingham. Okay, so she's fourth degree black belt with three-time TKD, so Taekwondo world champion. Totally dominant her weight class until she quit competing two weeks ago to, of pole arm training. Won't cut it, bro. So, here's the thing. So, um... So basically, so good point, yada, yada, yada. I doubt she could be an average sized man, untrained man in any physical combat, right? She learned those skills to protect her bear. That's, that's so stupid. Going to be honest here, every average guy would overwhelm her even with her stick. This is, this is the common reply. Who is she tagging? Who is she? Father, husband, coach, writer, okay, so sure. My daughter is fascinated with her and how she can do what she does, really open her eyes. Okay, yada, yada. Have you seen a bear? Yes, actually had met one in Yukon. It wouldn't be difficult to use it that in the forest, though. Lots of branches. <laughs> Don't pity me. This is always how I wanted it to end. Oh, my God, dude. So here's the thing. So here's the thing. Here's the thing right over here. Catherine, uh, you have literally no idea how easily I would wipe the floor with her. I'm a male in my 40s, relatively fit, though I'm improving. She can spin a stick around, so what? And she responds with, if you're literally unfit, unless you're extremely large, she'd probably win as a martial arts champion. If you were similarly trained, at least in the same ballpark, you would uh, you'd win by virtue of being men built stronger. Now, here's the thing. Um... It doesn't matter how how strong or how fast she is, right? Because a lot of video games and movies sort of ruin this for a lot of people, right? Saying that um, uh, a five foot, you know, a hundred pound girl can like beat a guy. In the like, the only way that she would probably even 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 be able to beat a guy is is if the guy was like, all right, I'm going to let, I'm going to go easy on you. Right. I, like, I, I'm going to go easy on you. And then I, I, I'm going to let, I'm going to let you, you know, take a couple of shots at me, but I guarantee you, Catherine dick sucker right over here that has not watched physical 100. Right. Has not watched physical 100. Now physical 100 is a Korean show on Netflix. And it basically shows the strength between a man and a woman. And it's about a hundred people coming from all different sizes and shapes and all different professions. Some people are like weightlifters. Some people are body, uh, actual like you know powerlifters. Some people are like um, gymnasts, uh, whatever um, triathlon runners. What, what, you know any any color in, uh, in the fucking rainbow, right? But not the not not the gay rainbow, but just just, just, just a bunch of people. Um, the girls got destroyed. Whenever a guy will go up against a girl, the girls they would completely lose, right? Like if it's an actual like, you know, man versus woman. So the thing is that, let's say if they're in the same height and even in the same weight class, the guys have faster muscle twitching, 
faster reflexes, and we're just stronger. We have higher grip strength. Our grip strength is way fucking stronger, right? And here's the thing. Men just do, just does everything better than women in terms of like phys physicality. Like all of the stuff that we do are better. Now, even today, leave it up to a guy to perform a woman's job is better. Like being, get, you know, like by being like uh, winning Miss America or some shit like that. But the thing is that this person is crazy for saying that, right? Do you really pity man? Depends on whatever he deserves it or not. Um, let's see. So basically her name is Raina Valendingham. Okay, so let's go and find her. I'm not sure how, how tall she is. Uh, okay. And let's get, she's on IG. Let's go log into the Instagram. Okay. So here's her Instagram. Uh, see, uh, 13 times black belt, the me, me and stuff like that. So that's, that's the video that got her viral. Uh, does it say how tall she is? Okay. Uh, sponsored SAG AFTRA. That's it. Okay. So I'm not sure how tall she is, but let's say she's about like 105 pounds, maybe five foot, five foot one or something like that. Um, she would get dominated. She would get ex completely dominated. And the thing is that like, People who people are basically want the bear just basically, you know what, um, you know, uh, it's it's over. Um, it's too expensive to go up to Canada for, for, you know, it's oh whoops, sorry for it's too expensive for me to go up to Canada for, you know, because they have to, you know, the euthanasia pods up there. Right. You know, the, uh, and, and so, you know, what? I'm just going to go into a forest and, you know, uh, just, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but um, people are crazy. And this th 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 this lady, I like. Like, as a man, and as a protector, as a father, and a husband, I want to protect people. Now, here's the thing, though. Given the whole Daniel Penny thing that happened in, um, I think, New York and New Jersey, given all, a lot of those guys that does, like, they do the right thing, and they end up going to jail, right? It's like, it's not worth it. Like, that's the reason why. Like, let's say if now, current nowadays, right, chivalry is extremely dead is because... If a guy would do something nice for a woman, oh, you guys, oh, you just want to have sex with me. You guys have ulterior motives, so it's not worth it, right? You, you, you guys are just trying to get in my pants, right? New York, thank you, thank you. So Daniel Penny was basically like, like protecting this lady that was being threatened by another dude, and then he goes to jail, right? For me, given that is what we are in current day and age, I would not go out of my way to save a person i don't know absolutely not because why because of feminism you girls ruined everything right you guys have chivalry you guys have guys who actually come up to you and ask you out and all that stuff right there was this video so basically th this is what feminism did right Fem feminism ruined a lot of things right i, I think first wave and second wave feminism are great Third wave feminism, I guess, fine. Fourth wave feminism, just, they're absolutely fucking insane. So basically, this is the video I'm talking about. Okay, I am the problem. I went on a date with this guy, and he was like, it's getting late. Do you want to come back to my place? And I was like, sure, but I'm not going to sleep with you. Like, that's not happening. And he was like, that's totally fine. Just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place. He respects my wishes. He's so nice. He cuddles me all night. And I'm like, are you gay? Like what? And like, I- Oh my fucking God, dude. We're respecting your wishes. You said no. All right, then I'm not even gonna try. Because what happens if I try? I go to jail for sexual assault. What the, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, and, and and if I don't make a move on you, I'm gay. You're you're insulting me. I, he, I just wanted him to like try, and then for me to be like, no, you know what I mean? No's mean yes, chat. No means yes. All right, based off of her, no means Why yes. Are you gay? All right, stop it. Stop that. But yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, why are you gay? Yeah, she should have chosen to go on a date with a bear. Yeah, absolutely, man. Jeez. I wasn't going to sleep with her. I, but I just, now I feel ugly. 
This is what. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, right? This is there it is. This tweet has now 46 million views. Some pointed out that the woman in the video is supposed to be a comedian. No, man, that was not that was not comedic. That this was this, this is a girl saying how how she's mad at men. Okay, I am And the how yeah, see see if it's if it's com if if she a comedian, if she if she thinks she's a clown, everything should have been sarcasm. Everything should have been sarcasm, but basically she says that, okay, I'm the problem is because, you know, I'm supposed to go to this guy's house and I told him I'm not going to sleep with him. And then when I go over, he didn't make a move on me. So I'm going to call him gay. Jeez. If they called me gay, I just be like, are you homophobic? I'm going to cancel you now. Yeah. Like, yeah, you told him that you weren't going to sleep with him and then he gets, and then you get mad because he's sleeping with you. These girls are absolutely crazy. This is what feminism has done. Third and fourth wave feminism has ruined her. Just go lesbian already. Put, your, put pronouns in your fucking bio. Lock your Twitter account. And just, and, and just, just become a lesbian or a they them. Just do it already, all right? Because no one, nobody going to be playing games with you anymore. All right, nobody's going to be playing fucking games with you, all right? Especially now with the internet, people could just go online, just jerk off to anime porn. I do that shit all day.